year, we look forward to Thanksgiving week every year, of course, for the turkey on our table. But also for the turkeys, WBZ's John Keller has been carving up. And tonight, a look at John's picks for the biggest local turkeys of the year. It has still been a drenching event for the entire weekend span. <laughs> We wait all year for the summer weather, but this year it was a wet, cold turkey. You needed a parka on Memorial Day weekend, and the 4th of July wasn't much better. Was it the worst ever? Maybe the question should be, hey, Mother Nature, what did we do to deserve this? If I can get on a plane mm -hmm. and save a few more lives, then, then absolutely I'll do that. But there's scant evidence that local Congressman Seth Moulton and a Republican colleague saved any lives by flying into Kabul airport in the middle of the chaotic U.S. withdrawal. We are obviously not encouraging VIP visits. Instead, fellow Democrats slammed the trip as an unhelpful publicity stunt, grandstanding by a couple of congressional turkeys. <laughs> In total, the report offers eight key insights. Even the man who commissioned July's Future of Work study struggled to extract insight from it. As Commonwealth Magazine noted, the $1.6 million we paid a big consulting firm to do it bought us little more than, quote, regurgitated conventional wisdom about how the pandemic will change things. That's a lot of dough to pay for a turkey. Whatever happens tonight, uh I feel like we're going to walk out there and play our game. Yankee manager Aaron Boone correctly predicting his team would end its turkey of a season by laying an egg in the wild card playoff game at Fenway. They even shipped up Bucky Dent as if his 43 year old magic would somehow rub off. Final score Red Sox 6, Turkeys 2. Let us all give thanks. <laughs> About an expensive <laughs> bunch of turkeys, boy. I mean, the Yankees are always uh, guaranteed, yeah. and we yeah. on the rain. Uh, what just missed the cut? I mean, Paula, I'll, off off air, privately, I'll okay. tell you. I don't want to embarrass the people who worked so hard <laughs> to make the cut. You know. What have you got for us in tomorrow night's serving? Well, uh, some political poultry from either side of the aisle, plus a tycoon who manages to unite the nation in the belief that he is one of our major turkeys. A tycoon. A billionaire, perhaps. Mm. Oh, mega we'll billionaire. Yep. We'll have to wait for that tomorrow night. We always enjoy this thoroughly every year, John. Let's set the table. I'm so glad. <laughs> gobble, gobble. Thank you.